executive director of the Alliance Française du Manitoba, which actually strongly recommended this film and is sponsoring three of our films in the French language series. It's Mr. Alain Nobili. Happy to show you uh, uh, this tribute uh, to Soleil and Spack. Uh, Soleil and Spack is French. I was French, actually. She, she died last year, so yes. Uh, so at age of 55, I mean. She died with breast cancer. Uh, she was born in Iceland uh, in 1915. And uh, her father was a former American soldier that married an Iceland girl that they moved to Iceland. Then she got educated in uh, Iceland, but she, she was really fond of cinema. And went to study cinema in Paris. And she fell in love uh, with Paris and stayed there and uh, had, uh, having a career as a, a movie director. And first she started doing documentary. She lived in Montreuil. Montreuil, it's uh, where this movie uh, will happen. Montreuil is a small suburbs in the north of Paris, so it's very mixed people uh, from diverse origins, uh, including Holbeck, Lucas Kennedy. So this is a positive story, but that's how it is. Um, <coughs> this is her sixth movie, sixth movie and uh, she also made um, the last movie called uh, La Femme Aquatique, uh, which has just been released, post-mortem. Um, she was starting to, to having a real, real uh, promising career. Uh, she made uh, movies about women, by a woman. Um, and uh, one of her favorite actors was Karim Dia, who played in the movie that some of you may have seen before in the news. Also in, this, in her latest movie, uh, but she's not playing in this particular movie. This is why it's a very low budget movie, one of her uh, lowest uh, budget for Soleil and Spack. Um, so thanks a lot for, uh, for being there. Uh, it's a great honor for, for Soleil and Spack. Thank you. <laughs>